of course Kai is renowned for and uh, it's just it's just gonna be so hard to pick just one but we'll have to see which one they decide on I don't expect to see the Glaceon Glaceon is open oh my goodness <laughs> first pick bro and surely he snaps this up how can you give Glaceon to Talon again oh my goodness someone uh, call the cops what is going on dude? God of War lost to a Glaceon in the Grand Finals once so I think Hopefully, they got a game plan to work towards Glacier, right? Immediately, Cynthia sna snapping onto that uh, Lapras as well. Kai onto that Dodrio. So that being said, uh, yeah, no Dodrio on the side of talent. Yeah, back to comfort here. Kai with a unique build. Or maybe not so unique, but just different from the other Dodrios that we're seeing. And Cynthia, this is this player's most played Pokemon. So a much of a Siggy here. Talon gonna pick up that Urshifu again and please don't put it on Blank. But here's the scary... <laughs> no, here's the scary thing, right? Blank uh, picks up the Urshifu in place of Brone when Brone already mm -hmm. has a Pokemon and Brone's on that Glaceon. So either Glaceon gets dealt its loss here in the hands of Talon because of the Urshifu curse or Blank breaks his Urshifu curse. We'll have to see. Well, well, hopefully, hopefully, you know, he, he get to break his curse, right? We're here to see breakthrough from people. So hopefully True. we're seeing an MXI going for that Trevenant this time around. So oh, a little bit of something okay. different from Talon this time for this reset. But on the right side, you know, it's pretty standard, right? Snake on the Sylveon, Mai Tang Lao on that uh, Elder Gauss as well. Uh, Chin always, you know, hovering around the Pikachu and likely to be with that Braxton. I think that would be a very good counter towards this Clefable. But Mew? Right, Delph so. It's got to be the Delph Delph Fox. It's Delph got to be the Delph yeah. Fox because you're up against the Trevenant. You want that additional sort of shred mm -hmm. through um, the healing that could come out. So I don't mind this lineup from both sides. It seems like Kai, um, you, you know, without that Hoopa, it's just his go-to Clefable, right? And it's mm -hmm. not something that God of Warriors can really like to contest. So, I mean, you talk about information that's shared between both teams. It's very clear now that God of Warriors, they don't really favor the Clefable or the Urshifu that much themselves. But on the flip side, Talon, they're not much... Um, they're not much players of that Elder Goss, and they don't really favor the Lapras quite as highly as well. So both these teams leaning towards what they feel most comfortable with. Uh, are there any drafts uh, on either side that you feel like have the edge? Well, God of Warrior have a really strong special attack like composition, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, stacked together with the Lapra, Sylveon and Delphox as well. And with mobility coming in from uh Lapras and, and Dodrio. So I, I, God of Warrior oh, is just that it's just Good, right? They just look solid. But Talon, they got the Glaceon. So, no, what, more, more yo, importantly, but Brone more is on the Yoshifu. <laughs> yes, Brone is on the Yoshifu. Let's go. Talon, you figured it out, buddy. You know what's up. And if they lose, yeah, I'm just going to look like an idiot. But it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> um, I think I think this is exactly what you need. I think um, mm -hmm. this is a good little switcheroo. Dreamt historically has been their attacker in the bot path. And uh, this more than likely is going to put uh, the Urshifu in the central area, if we're not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, Urshifu down in the central area is just so strong. Coming out of the central area immediately at level 5 as Urshifu. So they don't really have to deal with, you know, the whole uh, Urshifu being controlled as a cup full kind of situation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here as well. Uh, Glaceon is just really strong down on the bottom side all by herself because she could just level up at uh, level 4. Yeah, so interesting thing here is that Lapras actually is going to play the role of a support tank in the bot mm -hmm. half, backing up that uh, Delphox here. Sometimes, we, uh, in the times we've seen the Lapras, sometimes it's actually been a top half Pokemon backed up by its own support. So playing more on the supportive side, uh, maybe just providing a bit of disruption with that Lapras Express as well as Bubble Beam is the role we'll see it play here on God of Warriors. Yeah, and especially in the early game as well, right? Lapras have the Whirlpool... Uh, ability and that actually allow him to you know do much like damage and you know a little bit of uh, chasing the talent pokemon away uh, as much as possible as well because that whirlpool can be pretty painful if you stay inside for a little bit too long yeah for sure i mean you don't want to be anywhere near that but speaking mm -hmm. of anywhere near that I a, a, a switch back the other way. So we were just commending this Sylveon Snake for being creative with the with the move selection. It's actually doubled back for the Hyper Voice this game. Why do you think that's the case, Moonboy? Well, I, I think Hyper Voice is just shredding them down, right? I think that their, their job is just... Uh, Snake is just going for the shreds right here. Just shred them down and let Kai do the finishing with the Dodrio. So mm -hmm. that... And, and especially with Drew Pack and you know, going in Hyper Voice and then finishing off with Drew Pack. Uh, if you're stacked together as a, as a group and talent looks like they're playing a death ball composition, you know, Hyper Voice just looks really strong, especially going up against death ball. That's true. And I mean, the scary thing is you run out of damage against the 
against the uh, uh, Trevenant, which is not going to be mm -hmm. the case. Oh, Snake manages to get to the Citrus Berry just in time. So Brown, the Surging Strikes now, and this is the this is the hero. Uh, sorry, this is the Pokemon and the. I mean, I say hero, but really, he was the shining hero <laughs> he for is talent, the hero. right? In the moments where he played this Pokemon with this build, he was just ch dashing ahead, creating space. And he's looking to do the same again. Chains up for that KO on the Sylveon and tries to chase down Kai as well. And they're inching for more. This is exactly how Talon played when they were most successful. Yeah, when Talon, you know, immediately on the top side, just leaving nine points for that tier one. And I believe they will be rotating straight right down to the bottom side just to be ready for that bottom Reggie. And, you know, but God of Warriors, they're just all over the place right now. But the Dodrio doing a little bit of, you know, funky and just taking away the blue buff away from Talon. Yeah, I mean, Brone, hot on his heels though, needs to get out of here. The drill pack forward, but straight into oh. the clutches of four enemy Pokemon. Not where you want to be and definitely not a good look. Talon, they're starting their aggression again. This is textbook Talon play coming out from them here. We saw them succeed with these in the many series that they had before this. And it's looking to be on the same trajectory, Moonboy. Yeah, we're seeing lots of action in the middle of a screen. Let me just take your attention to the side of the screen. Glaceon is already at level 9, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> Dram with that Glaceon is just pack is just packing with so much damage right now. Immediately shredding that Dodrio apart. And they're chasing Cynthia down right here. I don't think Cynthia will be walking away out of this alive. And, you know, yep, there goes. Bye-bye. Uh, oh. No, no, it's just like right. Cynthia uh, walling uh, okay, away. Bye, nice bye. bubble oh. bit. Oh no, the shield. Okay, just fine. Lapras, cool Pokemon. They might actually punish mm -hmm. MXI for it. They are trying to turn around. Cynthia still has the bubble bee available. The glacial stage actually committed. I'm not really sure what else you can find from that. Maybe a bit of overzealousness coming out from Drem. But still, they managed to hold their position and back off. Now Reggie, Lecky under threat. Talon want to clean it up and no real contest coming out from God of Warriors. They tried for it with the hyper voice, but Snake now might be in some trouble. Has the dash away. Yeah, and the Lapras and Delphox was actually busy with the Glaceon down at the bottom side as well. And there we have Icicle Spears flying left and right once again, and Talon just cracked open the tier one and for uh, against God of Warriors. So you know, now is the best time to retreat, start start farming again, or maybe start a little bit of disruption on God of Warriors zone because you know you got the level advantage, you have to start bullying them. Yeah, I mean, this is exact. I, I keep saying this. This is textbook talent. They've done this mm -hmm. before and they've done this again. And uh, this is how they slowly but methodically choke out the resources on the map. You have this Dojo, sure. But take a look at the amount of yellow dots. There aren't even a lot of EXP points for him to mop up. All these wild Pokemon are just being systematically cleared up by the talent lineup right now. Yeah, I like I love the word systematically that you use, right? It, it is systematically. They yeah. know like, you know, at what point, what time, where should you be to clear what Pokemon? Yeah. And and yeah, and exactly that's what Talon literally did. And everything is just done down to the calculation right here. With you know, they still having the levels advantage despite having lesser wild Pokemon on their side of the field. Yeah, and this is where Talon, I, 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 not Talon, sorry, but God of Warriors actually look the weakest when they're not very sure where to move on the map. Speaking of not very sure where to move, right, the Sylveon should very much get out of here. Has the X speed away after Brone threatens the chase down. Dodge out now, KYY as well as Brone. They need to get out because the response is coming through. I say that, but they're still trying to chase forward. MXI actually getting caught out. They managed to get the Reggie steal, but all this is happening. And Brone and Blank, they end up, they don't actually lose anyone in this engagement. So just a lot of attention being forced from God of Warriors, but they don't get anything from it. Yeah, but Talon, you know, the damage is done. They distracted God of Warrior away from the Reggie, but they're still going oh, in for the, the push, hammer. taking out two KOs out there as well. Cynthia really low right here as Brone just going for the push, but Cynthia unable to go down. And Talon, this is the best time for you to retreat here and just, you know, reset once again. More yellow dots are spawning on the side of you. Just take them out. Sick Unite move there coming out mm -hmm. from Brone on that Urshifu, chaining them up. Unfortunately, not able to finish off the Lapras, but still forcing back his opposition. They lose MXI, but it's really, honestly, a very small price to play, uh, price to pay given the fact that he is that de facto support tank. And now they're making quick love of this Reggie Lecky. Bye bye. <laughs> Have you seen how fast the Reggie yeah, Lecky just I know, I didn't I just mentioned it and it disappeared. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. Dreamt, cool, cool Pokemon, this Glacion. Yeah, oh, Icicle Spheres just throwing eyes at each other. Like, you know, that's just painful to watch at this point in time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Misunders... in a little bit trouble. Yeah, more than likely gonna go down here. Straight into... Oh my goodness, that's gotta hurt. Straight into a Horn Leech too. And Cynthia... Oh no, look at this Lapras desperately trying to stop everyone. Can't do it though. Bro might need to get out of here. There's a lot of damage coming his way. And to cover the retreat, there's Talon backing up their brother in arms. And Bro gonna be able to get that reset. But like I was saying, I... 
It just, it's got to feel so painful that as a dojo, you know, usually you're, bird, you're supposed to outmaneuver these trees. How are you going to get outmaneuvered by a tree, bro? That's just embarrassing. No, but it's just a tree, but beside the tree, there's this guy throwing ice in your face, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically <laughs> Dude, how you like, got out of the maneuver. Like, this Glacier is like the most unfun thing ever. You know, you're like, oh, I challenge you to a snowball fight, and he brings like rock solid bricks of ice. <laughs> it's like, gotcha, and you literally are suffering from a concussion. <laughs> ching, 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 yeah. it's so ching, ching, annoying. Ching, ching. Like, it's like. Uh, that's the power of Glaceon, man. Uh, that's the reason why every single round Glaceon is banned. And once Glaceon is open, like you, you get to see this kind of gameplay, and it's not fair at this point in time with this amount of damage just shredding straight right in your face. I won't lie, kind of deranged of God of Warriors to do this, but also I respect the madness. I think they sort mm -hmm. of they very much know that what got them into this situation. It's not even like a. <laughs> it's like a, okay, any fight we engage now, we need to face against Glaceon. What's our Glaceon mm -hmm. solution? I don't see it just yet. K Y Y. Follow me, dashing away. Nice little sort of retreat from that engagement as we inch closer and closer to the final stretch. Like we said, God of Warriors, they only have one shot, one opportunity, but the punches! Oh! Ron finds the back line and he's not done just yet. Forcing out the fairy frolic and absolute chaos. Forcing out the Hydro typhoon. typhoon. And it's gonna knock all of them up. Cynthia, nowhere else to go. Gonna get provoked by the follow me. <laughs> and what do you have as the dojo? You need a triple trample through. You're on the dram, but you're on his glacial stage now. No! Wrong side and the icicle spear. Ah! Do in that dojo, what can you do other than cry? Shed a tear, God of Warriors. You made a big mistake letting Drem get his hands on this one. Ay, ay, ay. Every single one is just fighting on the central area of God of, well, God of Warriors zone. But you guys forgot that there's one lone Glaceon actually taking down the Rayquaza all by himself. The Rayquaza. Yeah, and, and you know, when, when the dojo actually meets the, the Glaceon, the Rayquaza is already at half health. Like, there's just one drop just from that, like, one Glaceon and just literally doing so much for the team. And there we have, ladies and gentlemen, Talon take the Rayquaza going in for the dunk, but they're just sneaking around, making sure that God of Warriors is not there to stop Ooh. them as that Urshifu and Blastoise oh. go straight right to the central, dunking 200 for themselves. 5 1 4 1 2 2. 50 more seconds. God of Warriors still have a chance, but it's really difficult for them to crawl out of this one. Yeah, dreamt going for that final nail in the coffin as well as the defense comes through for Talon. They're still holding back their opposition. There's a bunch of fireworks on their goal zone. Ah! Not really where they want to be, but they're just getting cleaned up. Just dished out and dusted off of their very own goal zone. There is going to be one final 50 dunk, but it's nowhere near the amount necessary. God of Warriors, they're going to lose out in this game number one. And for the love of God, please ban Galatian. Oh, uh, this is what is like, you know, you, you experienced that in the grand finals. You don't want Glaceon in the hand of Talon. And, but in this reset, God of War literally handed Glaceon back to Talon himself as well. So this is not the best way for God of War to actually start this, this reset. But and it's just painful to watch this particular round. Uh, painful is an understatement, okay, Moon Boy. Every <laughs> you, you know what's funny? Like the entire engagement that was happening with Talon, right? They're like fighting off God of Warriors, Bronze going crazy. He's putting on the most martial art, like like most insane martial arts performance of his life. And then there's just a one v one face off between like literally the the box legendary of Gen Three, right? Rayquaza, the sky high Pokemon. This guy was like just just giant like dragon, 